Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Finch's Flight. In the last episode, Finch took a trip down to the forest colony to say hello to some of his old friends, including his father, Scout, of course, who seems to be doing quite well in Finch's absence. In fact, the entire forest colony is doing very, very well, thanks to all of this territory that Penny has claimed over the years. Finch is so close to having the entire Highlands under his control now. We're just down to this last tile, this place where we uh, set up our next battle. And once we push out those mountain cats, we will be the true rulers of the Highlands. Hopefully that battle isn't going to be quite as hectic as the previous one from yesterday. I am still shocked that we managed to stumble straight into a full-out war between the Mystic Colony and the Mountain. It's a little bit unnerving, because if that does mean that our battles could get super tough from here on out, if other colonies are going to be sending in secret reinforcements in the process, then Finch is going to have quite a bit on his plate. And I think that's where Galen's influence will hopefully come in. We're going to need to ask you to train us up a little bit, if you wouldn't mind, in our foraging skill. Finch, you seem like a cat that has a mind for philosophy. What's your latest theory? I've been toying with a moral argument for the uses of poisonous leaves. It's still in its early phases, but I believe it will be groundbreaking. Oh, so maybe Galen would like it if we sneak into the swamps at some point? and try to find him some snake lily. Maybe that would help him with all of his latest theories. But we'll go ahead and drop off this one last uh, Valerian for you. That way we can get our fourth star with Galen, excellent. And then hopefully see if you wouldn't mind training us in our foraging skills. Yeah, this will allow us to use our herbs with a bit more effectiveness, so we won't have to use quite so many to heal our wounds. And that's super, super helpful for the coming season, because we won't actually be able to gather up any golden seals or marigolds once it starts to snow. I wonder if Claudius is thinking about the winter to come too. Work hard, but rest harder. My sincerest apologies. I realized that made no sense right after I said it. Oh my gosh, Claudius is so cute. Well, it's good to know that he does take breaks every now and then. Though I guess we knew that anyway, because he actually goes to bed quite early. Much earlier than we're used to from uh, guards of the forest. But that's okay. We need to make sure that you are well rested too, so you'll be able to defend our territory. So I think we'll go out to this battle first, right next to the mountain domain. Which is a little bit worrying, because we did have uh, so many reinforcements to deal with last time but we'll see if Finch fares any better today. Maybe we'll have more reinforcements too. I mean, it is right between our territories and so close to our homelands as well. Surely our cats are going to be ready to dive into this battle. We'll use our deep cut skill first and try to land a few good hits. And for that matter, maybe we want to use our lion's roar too. That way the rest of our cats should be able to chase them down with us. Yeah, that really seemed to work. If only we had a more cats to fight, because there were just a few left at that point. But that might be a pretty good a combo for us to consider in the future. What did you say your name was? Finch? Never heard of you. Um, well, we are kind of your leader. These cats are so strange, aren't they? Don't worry, the borders are safe with me. Okay, at least Almond is looking out for us. So we managed to defeat the mountain cats here. Now we have 33% of this tile under our control. So it's not all ours just yet. We still do have a little bit of work to do. But maybe if we can find some new lavender to spread around, we might be able to fix that. There's some valerian at least. Little valerian bundles to bring back to Galen later. And then all of those dragonflies that I've been catching, I'm hoping we can sell off to Coco. We are super, super close to inviting a new cat to our territory. So if all goes well, I'm hoping that by the end of the day, we might be able to buy a brand new den. I don't see any lavender in this direction, though. Maybe the Highlands South will have some new little herbs to pick up. 
Though in all honesty, I think we've already been past this tile. So if we want to find new herbs, we might have to go a bit farther. Let's try sneaking our way toward the sacred temple for now because I do know that there are still some unclaimed tiles around there, so we wouldn't have to worry so much about enemy cats trying to take us out in the process. Oh, we have some guards down here too! Gumball and Spider? Two little twins! Oh my gosh, you guys are adorable! If you hum a merry little tune, you can march for hours without feeling the weariness in your feet. Excellent, so that must be what they're getting up to right now. It's good to see that we have cats watching our back, especially since our colony is so new. And maybe that means that the battle over to our right won't be quite so hard for us to fight. I wasn't going to stick my nose in here because we are a little bit hurt from the last one. But we'll go ahead and use a couple of our herbs, and then we'll see if we can lend a paw. We do have our deep cut skill at the ready. Oh, and it looks like this is actually the Mystic Colony. Oh my gosh, they just tore through those poor cats. Maybe this was a mistake after all. Yeah, there are way too many Mystic Cats for us to fight all by ourselves. You know, I think it might truly be a good idea for us to consider buying a, a Summon Allies ability next. Once we do have some extra skill points to spare, and we are almost there. Maybe Finch can learn how to uh, call more reinforcements of his own. That was really the big difference between Penny and Finch. She learned that skill very early on, and it saved her quite a few times in those early battles. So we'll have to see if Finch can follow suit. But if I'm seeing this right, the orchard should actually be one of the free tiles by the Sacred Temple. So let's head down in that direction, because I would imagine we'll probably find some special little herbs or at least plenty of berries to pick up over there. Oh my gosh, and a blue jay? Oh, Finch. We know exactly how rare these are now. How expensive they are? Yes! Oh my goodness! So we can sell that off to Coco again? And then we'll definitely have enough muse for a new cat. It is getting a little bit late though, so we're going to have to be very, very quick about this. Let's go ahead and scoop up our herbs, maybe sprint down in the direction of the uh, orchard next. That way we can still get to all of those delicious berries. These are uh, secret little snake lilies to take back to Galen, but we won't miss our opportunity to meet someone new. Here we go, the orchard. And of course, this is the perfect place to gather up all of those seasonal berries. This was often contested by the Mystic Colony when Penny was making her rounds through the forest. So I'm a little bit surprised to see that they've kind of let it go after so many years. Maybe they're not so interested in snacking on berries anymore. But that just means that uh, Finch could potentially take this over someday. Oh, wait a second, maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, these cats just hit so hard. You have to be super, super careful that you don't fall straight into their claws. So let's go ahead and warp directly home. That way we should be able to catch Coco and uh, whatever cat we decide to invite before they go in for the night. And this time, Coco, we didn't steal any little blue jays from Penny. We caught this one with our own two paws. Thanks to that vibrant blue color, I'm also thinking that uh, Finch would see this as a little sign from the Forest Guardian. So maybe he thinks that the Forest Guardian also wants him to invite a new cat into the territory. But there we go, we should have just enough to potentially invite a new marriageable cat. 300 mews for each of these single cat's dens. But I think it'll breathe a little bit more life into our colony. So, quite a few of you have left comments about cat number three. They all have their distinct personalities, but cat number three has a drawn your interest the most, which makes me very, very curious to see what they might be like. So let's go ahead and purchase their den, and then we'll have to figure out exactly where we're going to place this. So let's go back into the build menu and try to find a good spot for our newest member of the colony. I guess we'll want to get to work down on the southern portions of our territory. So far, all of our cats have been very close to our den. So let's set somebody up in a different location. Maybe way down over here. 
somewhere a little bit more secluded, I guess? Kind of like how Lyris prefers to stay on the outskirts of the forest. Kind of hidden right next to all of these trees and these rocks. There we go, so we have a brand new cat to uh, go say hello to. Let's see what this little kitty is like. Yeah, I'm very, very curious after reading all of your comments about this one. Oh, Claw? Hello, little one. I love your bright red eyes. I don't get what you're trying to do right now. I hope you're not looking to make a new friend or something. You'll find that I'm not much of a talker. My name's Claw. I've been looking for a den like this to move into for a while now. In a distant part of the world where no one will bother me. Oh my gosh, how perfect that we put him over here then. Maybe we even need to move him like farther away from the territory. Get the memo, good. Okay, so he does seem rather surly, but I have a feeling he has a very, very soft heart hidden deep under his tough shell. <laughs> and I love that. I don't get what you're trying to do right now. We're just saying hello, Claw. You really need to find another cat to befriend, because I'm not looking to make new friends. I'm here because there's a nice, comfortable den, and it's far away from my past life. Okay, you got that? Okay, Claw. You know, I think I have the perfect name in mind for him. One of the suggestions that you guys left, in fact, will probably just need a couple more mews to uh, buy one of those renamed tokens. So let's go ahead and visit Coco's shop again. Maybe uh, sell off some of the, oh geez, extra berries that we collected. Not all of our items, though. Coco's trying to make off with our inventory like a little thief. So it says we just need to give this to a cat in our custom colony to rename them. So I'm assuming that it's probably going to be in our inventory. There we go, the rename token. So if we hold on to this and try to drop it off with Claw, then we can use it to give him a brand new name. A fresh start, perhaps. Which seems pretty fitting because he does seem to want to leave his past behind anyway. So one of you suggested the name Griffin, which I thought was super perfect for this playthrough. Birds and cats are a pretty big theme here after all. So I guess, welcome to our colony, Griffin. I hope you're going to enjoy your brand new name, and I hope you're going to enjoy your time here too. Maybe we should see if he likes bunnies as well? I'm a little bit nervous after the way that he seemed uh, so unwilling to speak with us. I don't want to give him the wrong thing. But I hope you like bunnies. Um, you want me to have this? Okay, that did not sound good. I don't think Griffin likes rabbits so much. We'll have to try something else like the mice, maybe the doves, or crows too if we can get our hands on a couple of those. He's going to be tricky to befriend, but I'm up for the challenge. I think that is truly going to be Finch's next main goal. We are going to be Griffin's best friend if it's the last thing we do. But let's go ahead and have him curl up to sleep. And then tomorrow is going to be the very last day of fall. Today is the Autumn Festival. I should head to the Sacred Temple and join in on the fun. Alright, so this is the moment of truth, I guess to see if the rest of our colony is going to join us today at the festival. Yup, it looks like Galen is gone. I'm sure Claudius is gone too. Okay, that is a good sign. That means that we should be able to interact with them once we head down for the festivities. I'm actually very surprised to see that you're not at the festival today. I guess it's because we could still uh, manage our colony if we wanted to. But typically, Coco needs to be down there to set up his shop. Oh, I hope he's going to have new things in stock. Maybe some new styles for us to use. I bet he will. Something tells me that the festivals are going to be the best place to get new items. Now, unfortunately, I did notice that we have a couple of battles kind of blocking our path. And this one's right on our own tile, too. So I guess we're going to want to check that one out first. We'll just go ahead and scoop up this mouse if we can. A little extra snack to uh, see if it's something Griffin would enjoy more. I really hope that he is also at the festival, though he's probably not going to enjoy it one bit, is he? I'm leery to try giving him anything like herbs or flowers, 
but I wonder if that might be the key to his heart. He seems to be very much on guard, so maybe he's just hiding away all of his love for the beautiful things of the forest. Mountain Domain is really not messing around today, but at least we do have some more lavender to pick up in the meantime, as we lure Juniper up into the highlands. Yeah, they just hit way, way harder than we do. At least that one was slow. This cat coming up on us right now is not quite as slow as Juniper was, and Rocky is even faster than them both. We don't want to waste too much time fighting with these cats, but we also don't want them to take control of the highlands, especially right at the end of the season. But one more cat to go. As long as he doesn't land too many swipes on us, we should be fine. There we go, so a couple of extra mews to stuff into our pockets. And now we can continue down to the next battle. Though I don't think we're going to be sticking around very long for this one. We're basically going to try to sprint straight through it if we can. And just uh, pick up some of the mews on the outskirts. Though we do have more reinforcements this time. Oh, is this where all of our guards were waiting? I guess it's a good thing we decided to step in here after all. We would have missed out on quite a bit if we decided to go around this battle. So there's no harm in sticking your nose into those skirmishes. But thank goodness, now that the River Islet is in sight, I think we're just about to the festival. And just in time too, Penny was never the slate for festivals. She was always uh, one of the first cats to walk in and say hello to Coco. But look at this! Griffin is right by the entrance. Have you won any glow potions? Those things are pretty cool. Oh, a little hint maybe. I bet he would really like fireflies then. Once uh, the summertime rolls around again. It's a bit of a ways off, but we'll have to keep that in mind. This is a great chance for us to say hello to some of the other cats too. Like Little Pebble. Make sure you don't leave without playing some of the games. They're the best part of the festival. I wonder if Finch ever tagged along with Penny Cat? Maybe watched her carve all of these pumpkins herself? Make sure you don't leave without a prize. There's plenty to win. Oh yeah, Alyssa actually uh, sets up this festival herself, doesn't she? Did you need something? No, don't worry, Luna. Oh, I bet Luna would get along quite well with Griffin. They're both cats of very few words, so maybe they would find some common ground there. We have Crampy over here talking to the Mountain Domain. Having fun is good for your health. Take it from me, I'm a doctor. Oh, I wonder where Galen is. We have Claudius next to Leo, and there is Galen, gazing out over the water. You should definitely try talking to either Doc or Crampy, because I bet they'll have lots of little remedies to share with you. Celebrations are noble things. They offer a chance to revel in the joys of life. And uh, lift the spirits too, of course. So everybody here is very, very happy. The Autumn Festival is my favorite every year. There's something special about how the temple looks in fall. We have Robin and Jag as well. Robin, our fellow bird in name. Have fun today. We certainly will. You know, I wonder if we'll even see our cats join in on the games. That would be really cool too. I'm only sticking around for a little while. Then I need to get back to my post at the Mountain Domain. <laughs> That's probably something to do with all of our troubles in the Highlands, huh? Mark thee how the winds blow today. This joyous occasion shall be our last day before snowfall. Well, that's what has Finch a little bit worried. And then Leo. You think we should talk to him too? I like how Claudius is standing so close to the mountain domain leader. He wants to see if he can learn any secrets. Perhaps we should spend less time playing games and more time discussing the territorial power shifts since the last we gathered here. Oh, Leo, is not that a little hint? Yeah, I don't think he's too happy that we took up a residence so close to his home. We need to figure out some sort of truce between our colonies. Remember not to leave without taking home a prize or two. There's lots of goodies up for sale. I wonder if there's anything that Claudius would like. Maybe a new style like we were saying before? Some a different way to decorate his den, and now we're seeing some of our old friends again. The blackberry bushes are starting to wither. That means there's not too much longer to gather golden seal for the winter. Oh, don't even tell me, Doc. 
I am starting to see the error in our ways. When we started Finch's journey right in the middle of fall, he definitely didn't have quite as much time to gather supplies as Penny. It's a little chilly today, but that won't stop me from having fun. Yeah, we know Ember was never the biggest fan of the cold weather. I hope no one tries anything funny today just because it's a festival. Sarge, we could really use your guidance up in the Highlands. I'm sure he would be able to help us out with these battles, too. We gather once more before the snow falls for fun and festivities. Oh, and Missy, our little babysitter. We haven't seen you in so long. Brr, it's getting cold out. At least we can enjoy the fall for one more day. I bet she's super happy to see little Ruby too, of course. She probably hasn't gotten the chance to see Ruby in quite a while too. Are you having fun? Yeah, we're having a pretty good time. And hello, Dad. Are you still trying to act cool in front of all your kittens? On my way over to the temple, I was tracking a really big mouse. It got away, but I'll grab it on my way back for sure. Yep, still trying to act as cool as ever in front of Finch. How beautiful the temple looks this fall. Do you not agree? It is very, very nice. Alyssa did a wonderful job setting up. Strange are the ways of the other colonies that gather here. Oh, I wonder what the Oracle thinks of all the shifts in power. That's something that she could probably sense quite well. Autumn is a lovely time for celebration. Not too hot and not too cold. And then I think we're just down to Savannah. And it looks like there might be another cat way in the corner of uh, this tile. I like to trade with the other cats who attend the festivities. There's lots of exotic stuff to be found. That's another reason why I do want to eventually save up for the shopkeeper. Something tells me that uh, they would have some interesting items to sell, since they are so expensive to purchase for our colony. I like talking with the cats from other colonies when we gather at the temple. Sometimes they bring good smelling plants for me. I think we do actually have a couple in our pockets, but unfortunately we can't give cats gifts here, so we won't be able to share them with you right now. Now let's go see what Coco has in his shop. Hopefully something new for us to buy with all of our tokens. Let's see. We have those glow potions that a Griffin really seemed interested in. We have Blue Jays, Power Paws. Those would be really helpful for us right now. The Castle Style? A pack of medieval architectural styles for your custom colony. Looks like gray brick castles. Oh, that's an interesting one too. I wonder if uh, one of our cats would like to live in a little castle? We might have to consider that for the future. And then the silhouette color. Become a dark silhouette with this unique color. Alright, so we could uh, potentially change the looks of one of our cats too, if we decide to buy these special coats. But first things first, we are going to have to join in on the festival games to see if we can even win enough tokens for all of these prizes. In the autumn, we have the pumpkin carving competition. And we know all about this one, Coco, because we watched Penny take care of the pumpkins many, many times in her past. Oh my gosh, Griffin is joining us. He's going to try his hand at winning some tokens too. Your challengers today are Griffin and Elyris. I'm not worried about losing. They should have sent some real competition. Oh my gosh, you look so grumpy. Look at that face. Well, we are going to have to try our best to prove him wrong then. Maybe that'll be enough to impress him. You are no match for Lyris's graceful skills. Yeah, Lyris does seem like he would be pretty good at carving pumpkins because he is such an artistic soul. But Finch is going to have to be even better. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. All right, so we just have to time this right. And we have already messed it up. Excellent, Finch. We have to concentrate on this one because we can't let Griffin win. I suppose it seems kind of strange that we're trying to get him to lose. Maybe it would be better to get on his good side if we allow him to win. But something tells me he would notice if we're like purposefully off our game. So let's try to give him a run for his money here. I think we are currently in the lead, but Finch is definitely not quite as skilled at pumpkin carving as his mother was. Maybe he needs a few more lessons so he'll be ready for next year. I wonder if Claudius would be willing to give us some pointers. 
He's pretty strong, so I bet he could carve through these pumpkins with ease. But that's the end of that, so did we win? There we go, Finchy won three festival tokens. Thanks for playing. All right, so we managed to best Griffin and Lyris as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, speed through the next couple of games. As long as we don't have anybody new joining us, let's see. No, it looks like it's just Lyris and Robin. So I'll try my best to win as many tokens as I possibly can, and then I'll see you guys as soon as we're done. <laughs> There we go, and with that final game against our own father, we've won the last of our tokens. So we managed to win all of our games, and that leaves us with 11 tokens to potentially spend at your shop. So I know the uh, logical thing to do would be to buy this power paw because I know we're going to need it. But at the same time, I am super, super tempted to uh, sneak a peek at this castle style. You think maybe we should give it a go? I mean, we know where quite a few of the power paws are hidden around the world, because we already found them with Penny Cap. So why don't we go ahead and buy something special to this festival? We'll go ahead and purchase the castle style, and then we'll test it out back home to see if uh, any of our cats might enjoy that more for their style of den. For that matter, I think it'll also give us new wall styles, so we might have new decorations to spread around the highlands too. But with all of that, I think we are officially done with the Feather Colony's very first festival. So I hope you had a good time, Griffin, and I hope you aren't too upset that Finch managed to beat you at the pumpkin carving competition. So let's head back, and then we'll see if Coco's ready to check out our new prize. There you are, already back in our territory and hiding behind all of those weeds. I guess we might as well try it on Claudius's den. I think he would look pretty good with a nice big castle to call his own. So if we press shift, maybe we can place the guard's den down again, and then change the style over to the castle. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It is like literally a little mini castle. Well, okay, let's go ahead and place that uh, right down here where it was before. Yeah, I guess that looks pretty nice. Very, very fitting for a guard like Claudius, especially with that sword out in the front. So we'll leave that for now. We might change it in the future, but I think it uh, adds a little bit of spice to our territory. Now let's see what these walls look like too when they're in the uh, castle style. Oh, they're actually like little pathways almost? Or are they just like uh, brick walls? Yeah, they're probably brick walls because you wouldn't be able to uh, walk on these things. Well, that's kind of neat. I'm not sure if we're going to use it right here. I actually prefer the plain style to the bricks in all honesty, but it's nice to have some more options to work with. Some more ways that we could potentially customize our colony to uh, make this a place all our own. But of course our cats are still hard at work putting away all of the uh, different decorations that they spread out around the sacred temple. I guess now we know the secret. Coco isn't the one putting it together after all. He's not uh, really lifting a finger in this case, but instead leaving all of the hard work to the other colony's cats. I guess that's because Coco has so much on his plate. He had to uh, watch after the sacred temple after all when the forest guardian wasn't around. But with its spirit back in action, Coco has plenty more time on his hands. So I think it's just about time for Finch to call it a day as all of these bunnies scatter in the distance. Thankfully, we do have quite a few left over to spare for Claudius, and we'll have to pack away those last few herbs that we gathered, so we'll have something to work with as we head into one of the toughest seasons in Cattails. Did we by any chance unlock enough experience points? There we go to uh, buy our next active skill. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the Summon Ally skill, because this was one of the uh, many, many things that saved Penny 
when she needed a little bit of extra help in those really big battles. So we'll unequip our sprint ability for now, and then next time we join Finch, he should be much more prepared to take on the Mountain Colony. Let me know which of our new cats is your favorite so far too, because honestly, I love Griffin. He seems very, very tough, but something tells me, just like Sarge, he's going to be a big sweetheart once we get to know him. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!